Good morning. Welcome back again to our puppet show. Our puppet show today, like Miss Faye said, is going to be about Puff, the magic dragon. And he even had a special song made just for him. He's quite famous. And I wanted to show you some of the pictures before we did the puppet show of kind of what it looked like back in that time. There was ocean, two, there was dragons, and there was a little boy, and the little boy's name was actually Jackie Paper, and Puff. And there was big sail ships like this that they would use too when they would have fun with each other noble kings and princesses and prince and queens. They all knew Puff. Even the pirates knew Puff. They gave him much respect. He was a fearful dragon, but at the same time, a very loving dragon, very kind, and he protected the kingdom. He loved children, just loved children. So today, I am going to introduce you first to my puff. My puff I have had, and he is special. Hi, puff. Hello, Miss Faye. Hi, children. I am so glad I could come and do the show with you today. Oh, Puff, we love having you, too. In fact, you're very famous, aren't you? Well, I don't like to brag, but yeah, I've been around a long time. And my wings are still good enough. I can fly, fly, fly. Oh, Puff, we're glad to hear that, because now I'm going to tell the children a little story about you. Would you help me? Oh, I'd love to help Miss Faye. All right, let's do it. Children, we're going to start our story. Now, first thing we're going to do is have Puff tell you his song a little bit. Let's start our story. One day there was a dragon named Puff. And Puff would fly around protecting the magic kingdom called Anna Lee. And in this kingdom was a queen and king. And the queen and king they love Puff because they never worried about their kingdom being attacked or anything as long as Puff was always there to protect them. Oh, my darling queen, aren't we lucky to have Puff? Oh, yes, my king. We are so lucky. He's the best, best dragon in the whole world. I don't know what we'd do without him. And our little prince, he just loves him. 
He's his best friend. I know, and I'm so glad. Puff will always be there to protect him, and we don't have to worry. So the king and queen, they were very happy. And of course, their little prince, he was very happy to have such a wonderful friend as Puff, because what do you think he could do? He could ride on Puff's back wherever Puff wanted to take him. And they would go zooming all over everywhere in the kingdom, seeing things otherwise he could have never, never seen. And Puff and him were such good friends until the prince grew up. And when the prince grew up, Puff didn't have anybody yet as a friend to take. And then one day, the little princess came along and Puff was happy again because the little princess, he became her best friend. And then she got on him and Puff took her riding everywhere in the kingdom. And they had so much fun until she grew up. And Puff, he was still around, but he was so, so sad. All the children he loved and they were his best friends grew up and would leave him all alone again. So this time Puff said, I don't want another best friend. I'm going to go live in a cave. So he went, he landed, and he went into his cave. And he stayed there for quite a while until one day he heard a voice. And this voice kept saying, Hello? 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 Anybody in that cave? Hello? Hello? Anybody there? Anybody there? No answer. Puff just stayed very, very quiet. And little Jackie Paper, he thought, you know what? I heard there was a dragon who lived there, but he's not wanting to answer. So every day, little Jackie Paper would come back and he'd leave something out in front of the cave for Puff. And he kept doing it and doing it and doing it. Finally, one day he came up. He was putting something down and he heard something say, why do you keep leaving things at my cave? And he jumped and he goes, oh my gosh, you really are a dragon. Wow, what, 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 what is your name again? My name is Puff, and what's your name? Well, my name's Jackie Paper, and I would like to meet you. Well, I'm not wanting to meet anybody. Just leave me alone. All right, and he, and he started to cry, and he goes, I'm really sorry, but you see, my, my mom and dad moved here, and they study the animals in the ocean. And, and I don't have any friends. I'm very shy. And, and I don't make friends very easy, in, even in school. So I was looking for a, a friend. And Puff, because of his big kind heart, he couldn't stay mean. And he looked at him and he thought, oh brother, here we go again. And so he said, all right, we can become friends, and if you want, I'll give you a ride. Oh, wow, that would be great. Climb on my back. So, little Jackie Paper climbed on his back, and off they went again, riding all through, all around, everywhere 
just having a ball and he never ever wanted to stop. So that went on for a long time and then one day little Jackie Paper came and he said to Puff, Puff, uh, I got a favor to ask you. Well, go ahead, we're, we're good friends. Well, I met a little boy and we actually became friends. And, and he's kind of a special little boy. And I told him about you. You what? And yeah, because he don't have many friends either. And I thought maybe I could bring him to meet you. Is it okay? Please, Puff, please. He is kind of special and really, really nice. All right. Okay, Jackie, go ahead. All right, I'll tell him, and he'll be here in a few minutes. So Jackie, he went and he got his little friend. Well, this little friend, some of you may remember. His name was Daniel. And Puff, he kept waiting, and all of a sudden came this little boy in a wheelchair. And he said, Hi, Puff. My name is Daniel. And Jackie became one of my good friends. I, I don't have many friends to, to play with because uh, I have a hard time playing with them. So, you know, they, they want to run and do things. Sometimes I can't do. But Jackie, he don't make a lot of friends, and we just kind of hit it off. And then now we become good friends, and he did tell me about you. Hope you don't mind. No, it's all right. I, I really don't mind. And what was your name? My friend's Daniel, my name. And I can't go and see a lot of places that Jackie told me about that you do. Do you think there's any way you could ever take me? Well, I don't see why not. Would you like to fly around and see places you've never been able to see? Oh, yeah. That would be my best dream in the whole world. Well, I think we can get that little chair on top of me, and you hold on to my back really tight, okay? Oh, yes, Puff. Thank you. I will. So, Puff and little Daniel, then it was their turn to take off. <laughs> Jackie Paper, 
He kept growing up, and Puff knew what was going to happen. He knew little Jackie Paper would have to leave someday. And little Jackie Paper, in the meantime, they just frolicked and had fun. He loved Puff so much, and Puff loved him. And so, one day though, Jackie came and said, Well, Puff, I, I gotta grow up and go to school now. I gotta go away to another bigger school. Mom and Dad, they're gonna move, and we're going someplace else. But Puff, I'll never forget you. And I hope you'll never forget me. Puff said, no way. You're my pal. And Jackie said, Puff, someday when I grow up, I will come back and I'll bring my children to see you. Would that be OK? Sure, Jackie. I'll be here waiting for you to return in my cave. I love you, Puff. Love you, too. And that, my friends, is our story. But don't forget, Puff was such a wonderful dragon that no matter what the children were like, they could be running around, they could be in a special chair like Daniel. But it didn't matter to Puff. All he loved was those children. They were special. And that's today. All children are special. Right, Puff? Oh, Miss Faye, you better believe it. If everybody all would just treat each other with kindness out there, that's all that matters. Not who they are, what they are, whatever. Just remember, kindness to others. Thank you, love. And thank you, my children. Miss Faye, today, at the end of our story, I'm going to tell you that next week may be my last show for the season. Um, we're going to have a special one. I'm hoping we can have a special guest star back. Somebody that you've always loved when school was going on. Made an appearance during our year this year. We've had a great year, haven't we? I mean, all of you that came in and watched us and watched Miss Lisa. It's just been wonderful. Like Louis Armstrong in the song, What a Wonderful World. Miss Faye has a lot now happening with Mr. Mark getting better. And I've got a lot of other things happening in April and part of May. And so I will have to stop, but next week we will still have another show. And I love you all. We, not just Miss Faye, we, Miss Bethian, our staff, Miss Mel, our teachers, we all love you so much. We miss you, but we feel that there's great things happening in the fall and the summer. So don't forget, July, we're trying to do a summer camp where we can see you. And Miss Beth Ann will let you always know more about that. And in the fall, school starting again. And maybe then, uh, you know, our bears have been in hibernation all winter. Remember that we put them in back in October? Well, they haven't come out yet. And I know it's spring now. But maybe, just maybe, during summer camp, if we have summer camp, for sure, for in July, uh, bears could come out. Maybe we could still do our out of hibernation pizza party. You know, something to look forward to. All right, guys? So don't forget, we haven't gave up on it, and we never give up on you. Love you so much. So until next week. Our heartfelt wishes. You ready, Puff? He's crossing his too. Our heartfelt wishes are to keep you safe, happy, healthy, and any heartfelt wish 
that you have out there, we also want to include. Now, my little magic mirror, I have, I'm going to get and say your names. I have not forgotten it. All right. Here we go. Puff, here we are. We want to say a special goodbye and thank you today to Judah, Paisley, Hazel, oh, let's see, oh yes, Juliet, Jacob, Ezra, Gray, Kate, Knox, hi sweetie, and Maddie, and along with Paisley, Paisley, of course, Sadie, and then Caleb and Cora. Oh, we love that you tune in. It means so much to us. So, all of you out there, and all the ones that we don't know the name, but you're watching, we love you and we miss you. So, heartfelt wishes go out to all of you. And what a wonderful world it is. Right, Puff? Right.